welcome to my studio subscribe and press the bell icon for more such videos hello everyone welcome back to my studio we are back with another video so today we will learn how to create a screenshot of our widget this can be used in a lot of places and the best example is a paint app where the user can draw something and we can take the screenshot of that image and we can share it with others so let's start so the first thing that we'll do is we'll let's create a dart page where we'll have this widget. So we'll call it image screenshot widget. So let's import material and let's have a class. We can call it image here. Extend stateless. And here, let's return a scaffold. I'll just write the basic structure. Height 150, width 150, hazard color, oh, let's say red. And it has another container in the center with let's say color as blue and height and width as 100. And let's use this class as the default class. Let's import this one and run this code again now as you can see we have this widget and now we want to take a screenshot of this widget so the first th thing that you need to do is you need to wrap the widget of which you want to take a screenshot of uh, with another widget which is the repaint boundary so we'll do that repaint boundary and now you need to assign a global key to this widget so let's call it image key and assign it here now we can we'll also have a button just below that so let's wrap it with a column don't let this thing actually and we'll have main access alignment also as center and after this thing we can have a button and let's call it take image now we'll implement the method here. So it will be an async method. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the render object. So that we can do is we can use a render repaint boundary and let's call it the image object. And here let's just import it. And this we can use now here we can use the image key to find this object. So here image key dot current context find render object. Now we have the object. Now we need to use this object to basically get PNG bytes. And also the base 64 image depending on how we want to use this image as. So if you want to save it on the database or something or if you want to share the image you can use the base64 format or if you want to just show it you can use the png or you can also use the uint 8 list format which will shortly cover so now let's get the image out of this one final image we can now use this image object and we can convert it into image now here you can also 
pass in one parameter that is the pixel ratio. So let's say if your image is of dimension 100 cross 100, but you want to share it with a higher quality of let's say 200 cross 200, then you can pass in the pixel ratio as 2.0, which will basically multiply that pixel ratio with the current dimension and give you a new image. So we can give the pixel ratio. Okay, this is not the page. Yeah as two now we have the image now we want the by data and that we can do dot to buy data okay image dot so wait this is an async call so you need to have a wait a wait here it's a future now you can convert into by data and the format will use PNG here. Image by format dot PNG. Okay, even this is an weight. Okay, and let's import our dot UI. This is done. Now let's get the PNG bytes. So we'll call it final PNG bytes and we can say await by data dot buffer dot as you end eight list so using this we can also create an image so let's say if you want to show another image it's not a way it's not a future so let's say okay let's have a button one more button here We'll have two buttons where for the first button we'll say uh, take image and another one will be share image so the process is also almost similar for the first one we'll only need png bytes and and if it's a share image part then here one more step will be needed which is now here we also need the base 64 format so we'll call it base 64 string now here we can use base64 in code and we can pass in the png bytes which is basically a uint 8 list now let's say after this we'll also create one more page and let's call it image page here we'll import material Each page and here we'll return a scaffold body center. Here the first thing that we need to do is we need to will first declare one variable and let's call it image bytes and let's create a constructor for this one now here we can say image dot from memory or memory and we can pass image bytes here we can give it a height or a width of 100 height can be dynamic and let's give it a fit of dot color that's it okay so here we have the png bytes so now we can send this one let's import this page and pass in the bytes which is our PNG bytes. Let's try this one first. Let's see if it works. Let's click on take image. And as you can see the image. So using this function, we took the image and we passed in the PNG bytes to another page, which is the image page. And using these image bytes, we are able to generate the image again. So now we'll try the image part. 
was that let's go to safari and let's import a flutter image share plugin so we can share, use this plugin and let's just import it here to our code let's do packages.get and it's done so let's just check an example code so if you want to let's say share an image you can use this code share.file We'll write the same part here. Let's import this one. So this is the domain name that you can give. This is the PNG name, the name of the image that you will be sharing. And here you can actually pass in the PNG by itself. So you don't, you can. So base sixty four thing is optional. So basically, if you store the image on server as a backend or something it's preferred to save it in base64 format so here if you can save the png format and that's it you will be able to share the image also for this thing i'll need to close it and run again i'll run it again let's wait for the app to run now as you can see the app is up and running now we'll be able to share the image so let's click on share image as you can see we are sharing the image as well as we are also sharing a text which is my optional text so let's click on share image as you can see the image is there uh, let's click on notes as you can see now the image has been shared as well as the text my optional text it's shared so that's how you share an image or you take a screenshot of an image of a widget thanks for watching the video if you do like the video Please do like, comment and share and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.